Hello and welcome to the Lightboard Sessions and in this lesson, I am going to talk about the importance of observability or monitoring. Now, why do we need observability? Unless you start majoring things, I believe it's very difficult to get an idea about how you're performing and how can you improve by getting those insights into it, right? A good example of that is our smartwatches that we wear today, which give us a very good idea about how many steps we are count, you know, we are doing every day, how many kilometers you run, uh, what is your sleep pattern, how long you're sleeping. And based on that, you can actually go back and look at the last month's performance and all these metrics and then figure out what else you could do to improve your health in general. Uh, what can you do? Or let's say you can also look at the patterns. Oh, those were the days when I didn't use my phones before before sleeping and I got a really good sleep. And then I remember, you know, um, waking up fresh as well. So based on those patterns and analysis, you can actually improve uh, your health and fitness levels as well. Right. Just like that, if you want to improve the, you know, the fitness or the health of your systems, your applications, it is important to start measuring the current performance and analyze it over the period of time. And that is where observability matters a lot, right? Because with observability, you can generate the data, plot it over the time, and then look at the metrics, start analyzing it. You also get a immediate feedback into, you know, how you're doing based on that, right? And based on that analysis, you have tools which help you centrally collect this data from all your systems. You can and set up you know some agents and those agents send the data to maybe one centralized system and from there you have another system which plots you know this data for you and it helps you visualize it using graphs and pretty met you know uh, metrics and graphs and all these charts and you know uh, pretty looking visualizations here uh, so getting the majoring is very important aspect of observability and why you should bother about it because it will help you improve stuff also the second part about this is it will help you troubleshoot things. Right, so when you want to troubleshoot your system issues or your application issues of your, or your network issues, uh, the, what, do, what do you do first, right? So you go look at the logs, you go look at the monitoring systems that you have, and that gives you a pretty good insight about what happened when you had an issue. Let's say you had an issue at a particular uh, point of time, and you uh, start correlating, oh, what was my CPU doing on that server? How was my network performing at that particular point of time? Uh, I can go and check the logs for a particular uh, system uh, which is involved at that particular time, and then try to analyze and troubleshoot shoot and find out the root cause of that problem. So if you're planning to troubleshoot and uh, you know, if you do not have this data, it's very difficult to actually look at this big picture, correlate things and you'll spend hours and hours just to figure out what went wrong. So it not only gives you the ability to major, which is helpful, you also get feedback from your systems immediately. So you know, based on that feedback that I just mentioned, you can improve on things, you can analyze you know, how your systems have performed over a period of time. You can look at the logs, you can also plot not just your system information, you can start plotting the numbers such as you know, your performance of your application, the number of customers you had over a period of time. You can create some business dashboards as well and get insights into your revenue, your customers, where do, where do they come from. Uh, all of this analysis is possible when you start majoring, majoring everything which is which is important and which matters. Apart from that, you know, you can major, you can major the metrics, you can fetch the logs. Apart from that, if you have distributed systems, it is also important to know how and where the packet is going, how it is traveling, you know, how long it takes in a particular span. And uh, based on that, you can also get not only feedback, but also it will help you to point out issues that, oh, this is where the problem is. And based on that, you can troubleshoot better. So it's important to major. It's important uh, from a troubleshooting point of view as well, all this data, and uh, it will also give you an immediate feedback into, uh, you can set up alerts and monitoring based on that, and it will give you not only feedback, but also very useful, it will serve very useful when you go back and look at the, you know, the last four, 24 hours or last five few days, uh, you know, how your system behaved and what was the issue at particular point of time, what else was happening at that point of time. So all of this information is a treasure trove 
for a systems engineer, DevOps engineer, or a site reliability engineer. And that is the reason why observability is very important for you.